Here we have a tennis ball with a mass of 60 grams that is served to a player with a speed of 10 meters per second. The player then returns the ball with a speed of 36 meters per second as shown. One thing we are interested in is what is the impulse exerted on the ball and then in part B we want to know what is the impulsive force exerted on the ball during collusion if the time of impact between the ball and the bat is 0.02 seconds already drew a momentum diagram in the direction shown so let's take positive to the right then I have the mass of 0 0.60 kilograms times initial velocity of 10 meters per second minus F T equal to minus 0 0.06 times 36. Observe that uh, I'm choosing uh, velocity to the left as negative, so rearranging this equation and solving it for F t which is impulse j j equal to f t equal to 10 times 0 0.06 is 0 0.6 plus um, if i multiply those two numbers i have 2.16 therefore impulse j will be 2.76 newton seconds observe that units of force are newtons times units of time in second or you can write this as kilogram meters per second so this is impulse on the ball as far as impulsive force is concerned, this is the force that is in existence over a very short period of time. Of course, we are assuming that this force has a constant magnitude uh, that can be justified because the time of duration of uh, contact is so small. Uh, therefore, J equals to FT. If I solve this equation for F... I have J over T or 2.6 uh, Newton, I'm sorry, that was 2.76. 76 Newton seconds divided by 0 0.02 seconds, seconds cancel, and the impulsive force is going to be 138 Newtons.